What are we doing here, Leonard? Okay, this is a 78 RPM record. It's finished. We're going to put 78 RPM finishing. Just like back in the days. The eccentric okay, shutoff. It's called an eccentric shutoff group. That record is in really horrible condition. It is, but that. I just used it for dimensions. Anyway, okay, so here's okay. how it goes. All right. Here's the eccentric uh, piece here. You put it on the record and you find where you have finished it, where you've lifted it. Right there. Yep. And there's a, a marker right here. Oh, I see a little see groove a little, in, the, uh, yeah. in the metal. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the finishing point right there. And now, then, is this how they did every 78 in it, the day? That's it. They didn't have a machine that just automatically cut the record and did the uh, eccentric shutoff. They actually manually did each one. They had to take the record off. Everyone. What a pain. Well, yes and no. Remember, they're making, you know, thousands of copies, so it really is, you know, no more of a pain than doing the rest of it. <laughs> well, I didn't, you know, think that they did it on each one of the thousands of copies, you know. No, no, I mean, it's part of, it's part of the production. You know? I know, I'm just kidding. All right, so here is an original Van Epps machine. Okay, where did you get this? This was made by um, uh, Fred Van Epps. His father... Frank Van Epps was Edison's engineer and banjo player. And the son, who was quite a guitarist and invented a guitar, actually, uh, came up with this thing to help make this process a little bit easier. And you'll notice it has a, a microscope. So and you can see exactly... Oh, look at that. You can see the stylus. That's the right. stylus. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've got to lower this a little bit. And then we have to match up the this stylus with a uh, finishing groove. So I gotta turn this till it comes up. Okay, so right now the stylus needs to be moved a little bit. Okay. Now I've got that positioned in the right place. So here's what we do. We go we're gonna go to 33 and a third actually. Just to do the finishing groove. And we'll lower it just for the finishing and then lift it. And then we'll inspect it and make sure that it's it's correct. Get this thing out of the way. By the way, we are at HRS, History of Recorded Sound in Culver City, California. The new home of Western Electric. You've taken over well, we're what, all we're the, the Western Electric. Well, we're Western the West Tracks, We're the what record division? West Tracks. Yeah, West Tracks. Absolutely. Let me get a three-inch label. When did uh, when when did West Tracks open its doors? Well, Western Electric was uh, they were in the government broke them up because of monopolies. They were in the film business, the phone business, the record business. So in 1948, there was a lawsuit. And Western Electric had to break off some of these divisions, so it became Westrex, which stood for Western Electric Export. And I'm putting on a, a three-inch label here just to check the dimensions. And you can see it's real nice. See the, the finishing groove there? I don't know if you can get enough light to oh, reflect yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But there you go. Okay, so now I have to ask Lee the question I always ask him at this point. And that is... We're putting the scribe yeah, the scribe in the lead out. We got to put a number here for the stamper. Does you know what that is? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm making it very simple. Right. It would be uh, D for Dionysus. You're making this up. All right. Seven eight right, oh one. On. Well, that's it sure. is the first seventy eight I have ever pressed D. on Dionysus. So it's D seven eight oh one. Seven eight oh one A. A. This is the A side. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we mark it West Trex or leave it alone? Yes, let's mark it West Trex. Right, this is make it all fancy. West Trex system. All right, that's uh, that's fair. And this is certainly high fidelity seventy eight. They'll love that. Okay, let's let's focus. And on it'll that. actually play coin operated if it had to. Oh, it will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got deep enough to to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, there is the finishing groove on a 78 RPM record just like they did it in the old days. Thank right. you very much, Leonard. There you go. That was 
good. And uh, this is uh, Skip Heller's Hot Five. It's going to be released on Dionysus Records soon. That's beautiful. All right, thank you for watching.